and sweets. Mia the camel loved eating sweets and candies. She told her mother, "I do not want boring food. Fruits and vegetables do not taste good." Ugh! She snorted in disgust. Try eating them, Mia. They taste really good and are good for health too," said her mother. But after tasting sweet dates, Mia had no appetite left for anything else. One morning, Mia got up with a severe stomach ache. She went to Doctor Parrot. "What have you been eating?" Doctor Parrot exclaimed. Mia sank down on her seat. She realized her mistake and was feeling embarrassed. Doctor Parrot took out two of Mia's teeth and cleaned the rest. Mia cried in pain. He gave her an injection to relieve her of pain. But she knew what wrong she had done. Doctor Parrot said, "You have worms in your stomach, and you have cavities in your teeth. Promise me that you will eat fewer sweet dates and more fruits and vegetables from now on." Slowly, Mia became much healthier. The frightened elephant. Once there lived an elephant in a forest. The elephant was very scared of everything: water, wind, rain, other animals, and even smaller creatures like mice and worms. He thought water might drown him, wind might blow him away, rain might make him fall ill, and other animals might kill him. His friends and relatives were very worried about him. Behave like an elephant, his friends advised him, but he did not know how to do so. He was unable to live a free and happy life. He always used to hide behind huge trees. He was not like the other members of his family. One day, a wise old cheetah said, "If you do not want to go near any animal, then don't. At least." Stop being afraid of everything. If you show your weakness, no one will respect you. From then on, the elephant started talking to other animals and roamed in the forest freely. He was finally happy. The intelligent reply. One day, the king of the jungle, the lion, called an important meeting at his den. He called the monkey, the zebra, the elephant. And the fox. The lion was very dirty, and so was his den. The monkey did not dare enter the den due to the bad smell, so he left without saying anything. Unable to bear the smell, the zebra covered his nose. How dare you cover your nose? Does my den stink? Roared the lion. The zebra did not have an apt reply, and the lion threw him out of the den. The king. Then asked the elephant the same question. No, it smells of roses," replied the frightened elephant. The lion was not happy with this answer either, and knocked the elephant's trunk. He then asked the fox, "Sir, I have a cold, so I cannot smell anything," replied the intelligent fox. The lion was happy with his reply. And made the fox his minister. Hippo who wanted to sing. Once upon a time, there was a hippo who lived in a river next to a mangrove forest. One day, a nightingale nested on the tree. The hippo loved her voice, but slowly he became jealous. He too wanted to sing like her. The hippo made up his mind. That he would come out of the river, climb up the tree, perch on a branch, and start singing. So he tried to climb up the tree. When he failed, he thought, "I shall ram against the tree until it comes crashing down." Then he stepped onto the leaves of the fallen tree and began singing. Unfortunately, he just managed to make a lot of noise. All the animals laughed at him. The hippo stopped singing and realized that he should be happy as he was. He used all his strength to raise the tree back up again and look after it 
until it had completely recovered. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.